I talked to Robert Kayat about closing this evening with a little bit of entertainment. And I told him what I had in mind, that he would perform. And all of you are wordsmiths, and so you understand the history of certain phrases. And so I think Robert decided to hedge his bet um, by bringing Tricia Walker along with him. Liz Shriver told me that before she knew about Robert, we ought to get Tricia over here. And so between the two of them, Tricia, I knew that you were really the person to come here and help us close out this great uh, weekend. Uh, Tricia, you'll hear more about her from Robert, but she heads the uh, Delta Music Institute at Delta State and uh, is a terrific musician in her own right. A lot of you don't know Robert's uh, musical abilities, uh, <laughs> but he was featured on the front of a, a clearly objective publication called the Ole Miss Alumni Review. <laughs> <laughs> and he was pictured with a guitar, and it said, Chancellor Robert Kayat, Renaissance man. <laughs> So all I would like to say is let's welcome the Renaissance man and Tricia to help us end this wonderful evening. And Charles Overby uh, pretends to be a friend of mine. First of all, first of all, he, I had no choice about agreeing to do what I'm going to do. But I uh, learned as chancellor that if you want to be successful, you get you a lot of really good people. Uh, on your team, and then you can be successful. Uh, Van Chancellor said, when asked about success in basketball, he said, you show me a successful coach, and I'll show you a truckload of good players. <laughs> and so what we did tonight is we asked Tricia Walker, the director of the Delta Music Institute, to come and help, really primarily, entertain you all, and I will try to support her. Before I do that, though, Charles, you said in your introductory remarks that you probably had heard Governor Winner speak more than any other single speaker. Well, there is a person in this room who has heard Governor Winner speak more than all others. And that person is the delightful, beautiful, smart, capable, tough, lovely, gracious Elise Winner. Would you stand up, Ms. Winner? <laughs> With great uh, deference to all the other first ladies, that's going to always be my first lady. He, everybody has a choice. This young woman is from Natchez. We heard from one of Mississippi's treasures when we heard from William Winter, and we're about to meet, you all are, another of Mississippi's treasure. Tricia holds degrees, undergraduate and gra graduate degrees in music education and music theory. Uh, she came to You'll hear about this in a minute, but she came from Natchez through Jackson, went to Nashville, was there for 26 years, incredibly successful as a singer, a songwriter, a musician, and a producer. She is a member of Women in the Round, the women's songwriting group. She has sung harmony and background vocals for Shania Twain, for Paul Overstreet, and for Connie Smith, all of whom are nationally renowned, internationally renowned stars. And, uh, since Tricia has come to Mississippi, she has uh, launched this program at Delta State, which is going to focus on the wealth of talent that we have in, the, in music, and she is one of the crown jewels of that wealth of talent. So please welcome Tricia Walker. But I thank you, and I do want to thank Dr. Kayat for the invitation. I, I, I enjoyed so much your speech, Governor Winter, and uh, even though I was born with music in my soul, I too have ink in my blood. My mother was a, a newspaper editor of a small paper in Jefferson County, Mississippi, for over 20 years. And my, first, my first employment was actually catching the papers as they came off the old printing press and were folded. I was six years old, and I had to, every time a stack of them came, I had to go take them out and put them in a box and come back and sit down and get the next stack and put them in the box. 
So I know the sound of a printing press, and it's a beautiful sound. It's kind of music to my ears, but thank you for letting me be here. I want to do a little song for you, um, since y'all are nice and full now. And since most of us, is everybody in here a Southerner? Anybody from outside of the South that cares to admit it? Oh, don't be so shy. It's okay. It won't hurt. We're not going to hurt you. It's okay. All right. The rest of us all know that when somebody passes away here in the South, that uh, one of the things that we do best is show off how good we can cook. All right? And so it all depends on that comfort food that's taken to the funeral home or whatever. And I was talking to a friend of mine from Utah, and I said, what is the, you know, what, what do y'all do out here for, for comfort food for the bereaved? And he said, well, he said, you know, green jello is real big. <laughs> oh. Yeah, that was my, my feeling exactly. So let me do a little song for you. You will probably recognize yourself or your closest kin in this song, all right? <laughs> Songs like funeral food 
We're all about the words, not about the voice. <laughs> In fact, chapter 6 of Matthew <laughs> says that we should pray in our closets. P-L-A-Y is a good substitute for pray. You know, don't, people like Robert Kyle play in his closet as well. But here we go. I'm going to give it a little shot at long black day, all right? If I'm flat or short, tell me, okay? Thank you. Well, 10 years ago, on a cold, dark night, someone was shot beneath the town hall line. There were few at the scene, but they all did agree that the slave Thank you. 